Hello everybody, Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Dragon Age Origins with the Human Warrior. Again, I want to apologize, um, I didn't want to start over, but I had to, because that character was just so messed up, so, um, I do apologize for starting over, but before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications, you can be notified of all my videos, you don't miss any of my videos. Anyway, let's just get back down to it, we're in Ostagar, and we're gonna get ready to deal with the blight. Well, actually, no, we're gonna get ready to do the initiation, that's what we're gonna do. Beans, I know where I'm going. Um, it shouldn't take me long to do this. I might be able to go through the blight as well. We'll have to see. Okay, we got to level up. I have learned every time you level up, you always give a point to strength for your warrior. Okay? And, um, because we do a wield, we're going to do cunning. And we're going to do willpower. So we can get more stamina. Skills. We're going to do a stealing, because that uses cunning, as well as coercion. There we go. And... We'll do precise striking um, because that would really help. Um, Okay. Alert, okay. Um Might want to learn combat tactics while we're at it, too. Okay. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit the Duncan brought. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill? Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find it myself. 
Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some, uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me know what you'd like. Okay. Nothing. Well, I do have some weapons, so okay. Fleeting you. Okay. 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 You know, that pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh well, too bad. I don't know how to open these chests. I thought it was stealing, but I guess it's not. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. What do I have on that? No. 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 Here we go. Malkite can go, the Garnet can go, all these stones can go. Okay. Okay. We'll buy you. Ale boots. We'll buy those. That's it. Okay. Damn right. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Now we're set up. Now we're set up. I always fall for this, damn it. I always fall for this. Okay, he's up here. Okay, we're going to give dual wielding a try. Okay. 
There we go. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. <laughs> Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. Oh, nothing. Just trying to find a bright side to all this. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. It shall no. be done. Nothing to steal, huh? Yeah, I don't know how to open those chests. I thought it was a stealing skill, but I guess not. I guess not. We will go around and see if we can steal from people. Hey, we got an achievement for it. Didn't get anything from him though, but that's okay. Begun. Let's see if the quartermaster has anything. I don't know if he will or not, but let's find out if he does. Nice! We stole something from him. <laughs> That's cool! We stole something from him. Of your sons and daughters, we who betrayed your prophet under us now save us. Not Watch over Terran Logan and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the scourge of Shadow. Watch over Pharrell. Oh, keep her people safe from the dark spot. Let us bow our heads and offer... I'm certain there is another explanation. No, there's not. My man caught him with his hand in his pocket. Careful. You're talking about a Grey Warden. I would trust his word over your man. In any event, I vouch for the good conduct of all the Wardens here. Are we clear? Yes, Warden. I shall do it. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maids, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. 
This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denaro. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay, so we're heading off to the wild. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Okay. Here we go. Dual wielding. Fine. As you say. Kind of reminds me of Spartacus. From the Spartacus series. Blood and Sand and Gods of the Arena. Of uh, Gannicus, you know? <laughs> Oh, you're that dying soldier, okay. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh, I, I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Right. I 
I am looking around here. Where are they at? Down here? Yep, there they are. Nice job. There we go. We'll take the dark spawn blood. Dark spawn blood, nice. Then we'll head over here so we can get some elf root. Dark spawn blood. All we need. Always take your loot because you never know what they're gonna give you. Oh, very well. With that there we go. See what's over here, which looks to be. A whole lot of nothing, yep. Always look around, you don't want to... You don't want to leave any stone unturned, you know. Oh, there's a corpse we missed. Just another dark... Blood, dark spawn blood. There's an elf root. Let's take it. Shall we die? Alright. Ah, Hi, you little bastards. Take you, you, very well, it shall be done, just to make sure there's nothing else, nope there isn't, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm doing much better this time. I'm doing much better this time. Really? All right. It shall be done. That flower, white with a red center. The kennel master Ostagar was asking about those. Damn right. 
The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. Might want to think about it is all. Hell yeah, we just grabbed it. I'll take the reward. overwhelm me I didn't know they could do that I shall do it it is begun iron chest Is it better than the family sword? I get level, I gotta be 20 strength to use it, but it is. Okay. Take it. All right. I didn't know that was there. Huh. put me in a trap. Okay, cool. We leveled up. I didn't know that's what that flash meant. Okay, so when your character flashes, you level up. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. We'll deal with it in a minute. Damn it. It shall be done. All right. I shall do it. Okay. Now we leveled up, so a strength. Fuck it, we'll go 20 on strength. Well, actually, let's close out for now. I want to look at that sword before I commit. The longsword main hand. Um, no, it's a two-handed. Good thing I didn't commit to that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we'll go you. And then... We'll do you. New. There we go. Then we'll do dual weapon training. 
So we can get that passive. It becomes, I become more proficient with fighting with two weapons and deal closer to normal damage bonus with the offhand weapon. There we go. Okay, there must be another big fight here. Yep. Nice job. Okay. I shall do it. Ooh, an enchanted dagger. What's it do? Um, 440. Oh, it's a better dagger. I'll definitely take it. I'll definitely take it. Hell yeah, it's a better dagger. Where is my enchanted dagger? There it is. Doink. Okay. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? 
Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you, but then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Uh. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as the others do? They did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Okay, cool. First things first. Greetings. Are you one of the Grey Wardens that went into the wilds? Did you happen to see any white flowers? I don't know for sure that the flower will aid my poor hounds, but it's worth trying. I have, uh, let's see, 20 silver to offer as a reward for it. Thank you for your assistance, then. Perhaps we won't lose as many hounds as I'd feared. Okay. So we do want to see the quartermaster again. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Well, let me know what you'd like. Okay. We'll sell the leather, but we'll keep the chain mail. Keep Hardy's belt.
There. I want that backpack. Damn right. I didn't know he sold that the first time. All right, cool. Now we can carry more. <laughs> Sweet. I'm going to wait to equip Alistair. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and friends. Very well. Aww. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Excellent. You will need that courage to face what comes next. Courage? How much danger are we in? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you, this is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. A 
but the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. Damn right. Here we go. This moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. Okay. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. I shall do it. It'd be kind of cool if I could steal from King Kalen, but you can't. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kalen. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, your majesty. And this is the young lord from High Ever I met earlier. I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then... You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle will of not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. 
you and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Turn Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Yes, so am I. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Okay. Now. Go across the bridge. That's where we're going. Across the bridge. Here we go. Dealing with the blight. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Damn, look at all those dark spawns. That is just so cool, seeing the raining arrows like that. Here we go. You're gonna cross the bridge. You will fall. Oh, fuck. Oh, but we got hit with something. Don't know what, but we got hit with something. But we got some leveling up to do.
Okay, fuck that one. We'll do dual weapon finesse. Okay. There we go. War dog, you need strength. Um Full power. Cunning. We'll do Dread Howl. And Mr. Alistair, he needs rank. Constitution. Dexterity. Okay. He is a sword and shield guy. And we'll work on his um, equipment here. But she doesn't need any. Okay. Okay. They're everywhere. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. I'm just seeing what's going on here. Um, I want to just check around, see what we got here. There might be items. You don't know. You don't know. There might be items around here like this. This death root over here. Give me the death root. That all that's here? This the death root? Looking like it actually. Yep, that's all it looks like it's here, okay. And we leveled up, it looks like. Nice. Put one to strength. Always put one in strength. So, willpower. Cunning.
Okay. Very well. Yeah, take your loot, man. Take your loot. Alistair leveled. I thought he leveled. I believe I took a bad shot in that fight. No, it doesn't look like he did, though. Ooh, we got us another death route over here. I shall do it. Okay. As you say. There we go. Yeah, 
I know how injuries work. I just dealt with it. What do we do now? Get out of my way so I can loot. Sure, there's nothing over here. Yes, I know how gifts work. Jesus. Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde. There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Good point. I need to stay focused. Kill first, ask questions later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taren Loghain will be waiting for the signal. As you say. There we go. A couple crates in here. Damn right. What's in here? A couple more to fight. Damn right, we're just killing these guys. I think it's because of the um, dagger we found. Damn, dual wielding's actually kind of fun. Okay. Just destroyed that entire horde. Hell yeah, man. Damn. <laughs> okay, we're building the character right this time. Because I had trouble last time going through here. As you say. Let's do it quick. 
shall be done. Logain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is the depending on us. I even sliced his head off. Hell yeah, that was cool. That was cool. There's the lever. Okay. It shall be done. As you
Hi, you little fucker. There we go. Shit. Light it quickly before it's too late. It shall be done. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I will stay and make something to eat. Okay, we did level up, so we'll go ahead and deal with that. One always to strength. One to constitution. 
One to willpower. So coercion. There we go. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? But we were fighting the dark spawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but... I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the Ancient to Winter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half-dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Arch Demon, or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlay had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? 
go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the Blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Alright! Well, I'm gonna call it for this video, so... Hope you all had fun. This episode, I kinda did. Sorry I didn't talk much. My internet's... While I'm recording this, has been screwy, and... I don't know if I can get it back up and running or not, because the internet service I have out here is just terrible. So, anyway, hope you all had fun. I'll see you all next episode.